Whether you work in industry, government, private research and development, or the military, advanced studies can take your career in engineering to greater heights. We're delighted you've chosen to learn more about how Johns Hopkins Engineering can help you accomplish your goals. The Engineering for Professionals online part-time program at Johns Hopkins Engineering offers thoughtfully designed courses that enhance your knowledge and build the essential skills to help you excel in your career. The Johns Hopkins University Systems Engineering program will equip you with the methods and tools you need to become a programmatic or technical leader in the industry or government. As a working engineer or scientist, you will be engaged in all aspects of analysis, design, integration, production, and operation of modern systems. A key benefit of the program is that you'll learn from faculty who are practicing systems engineers who incorporate real-world problem-solving activities and case studies into course discussions. Faculty experience ranges from software engineering to human-computer interaction and medical system design. The Systems Engineering program offers three paths to earn a Master of Science. You can take courses entirely online, a hybrid of online and on-site, or virtual live, synchronous classes remotely. The majority of our on-site courses are held at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland. The Master's in Systems Engineering requires the successful completion of 10 courses to earn the degree. You will have up to five years to complete the coursework. The program requires six general systems engineering core courses and two elective courses if you are on the two-semester thesis track, or three elective courses if you are on the project track. This structure gives you the flexibility to design your learning experience. You can choose from six concentrations, cybersecurity, human systems, modeling and simulation, project management, software systems, or systems. These tracks are designed to guide your elective studies, but also allow flexibility for the area you are most interested in. All students are required to take the six core courses listed here, Introduction to Systems Engineering and Management of Systems Projects are the courses that lay the foundation for your program study. The Software Systems Engineering course is our newer requirement, intended to integrate hardware and software engineering. The last three courses take an in-depth look at each part of the life cycle of systems engineering. The Capstone Master's Project is our most popular course. It is a one-semester self-paced course in which you pick a topic, stakeholders, develop requirements and architecture, perform trade studies, and test planning. You are given a project mentor to support you throughout the project, but there is no formal class. The final output is a report of your materials and a one-hour presentation. The thesis is a two-semester course and is ideal if you are considering pursuing a doctorate degree. It is also self-paced, but it involves building a committee and research topic, conducting original research, and defending your thesis. While you can choose from multiple tracks, here's an example of the schedule of courses you could expect if you select the Systems track and opt to complete a master's project. General admissions and program requirements must be met to be admitted into the Systems Engineering program. There are four general requirements. You must have a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university, have a grade point average of at least a 3.0 in the latter half of your undergraduate studies, relevant work experience, or a graduate degree in a technical discipline may be considered in lieu of meeting the GPA guideline. Submit transcripts from all college studies. Unofficial transcripts are accepted to apply. However, Official transcripts must be submitted before you can enroll in any course. GRE scores are not required. The Systems Engineering program offers two degree distinctions, a Master of Science in Engineering, MSE, and a Master of Science, MS. In order to be admitted into the MSE program, you would need to have a degree issued by a program accredited by the Engineering Accreditation Commission, EAC, of ABIT. Students admitted without a Bachelor of Science degree from an EAC of ABET accredited program 
or who did not complete the prerequisites that meet all of the EAC of ABET accreditation requirements for attainment of student outcomes and for sufficient math, science, and engineering design at the Bachelor of Science level, will receive a regionally accredited Master of Science degree. There is no difference in the curriculum for the MSE and MS programs. Our goal is to fully prepare you to flourish as a systems engineering professional. Upon completing the systems engineering degree program, you will have mastered the ability to identify, formulate, and solve complex problems in systems engineering. Johns Hopkins University was the nation's first research university founded for the express purpose of putting discovery and knowledge to work for the good of humanity. Today, we are a top-tier university and remain committed to academic excellence and pioneering research. As a student, you'll have complete access to a host of digital and technical resources, academic and career advising, and support services from across the university. Every student gets the full value and recognition of a Johns Hopkins Engineering education. Online students in the Engineering for Professionals program receive the same Johns Hopkins University credentials and diploma as those who study on campus and walk across the stage on graduation day. We look forward to supporting your education and career goals and seeing you in our virtual classrooms. For more information and to apply, go to ep.jhu.edu forward slash apply.